And we find ourselves at one of the most iconic venues in world football, the Santiago Bernabeu here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. My name is Derek Ray, and with me is my commentary partner, Lee Dixon. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Real Madrid facing Alaves. Yeah, thanks as always, Derek. It's a pleasure to be here. Anticipating a really good game today. The atmosphere is great. Certainly buzzing from the spectators' point of view as we head towards kickoff. Hopefully, we won't be disappointed. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois, the Belgian, will be in good. Is Karim Benzema. Here's the Alaves starting lineup. A standard 4 4 2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. Well, who was Santiago Bernabeu, you might be asking? He was involved at Real Madrid for a long time as a player, director of football, coach, manager, club president from 1911 until 1978. Yeah, the steep-sided stands here, I believe, create a unique atmosphere in European football. It's absolutely brilliant. Modric. Benzema. Benzema. Asensio, course, and the decision is one of offside here. Rafael Varan, course. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Modric. Benzema. Benzema! Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. They've decided to take the corner short. Magnificent defending. And the tackle, vivacious from Varan. Well, the ref will hear the crowd all right. We can hear him from... It might be the moment to get them ahead. Absolutely magnificent goalkeeping. Oh, he's almost turning away. He thinks he scored. The goalkeeper doesn't. And deciding to go short with this one. Luka Modric. Will he finish? And he couldn't take advantage of that opportunity from close range, Lee. How close does he want to be to score? He's gone for power and fluffed these lines. Given away by Real Madrid. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. Benzema. Lost possession. Now Casemiro. Here is Marco Asensio. Modric might be able to get in behind the defence. 
And the goalkeeper, as you would expect, once again doing his job. Yeah, that's it, his job. Get behind the ball and save it. Of course. Benzema. Well, they have it again. And the danger cleared. Karim Benzema. Course. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Adrian Marine. It's with Jose Lu. Faisa. Pere Pons. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. He must finish! Dealt with easily by Courtois. Mendy. They're advancing here, Real Madrid. Can they take advantage of the position they're in? They could nudge in front. Oh, he's given it. Penalty. And an opportunity now for them to jump in front. Penalty given and yellow card handed out. Short corner it is. Rafael Varan. And turned out of play, so it will be a throw in. Casemiro. Can he open them up here? Asensio. It's there for him. The first goal of the match, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. It's taken a while, but the pressure's taken its toll. Well, here is the replay, and to be fair, the keeper from that distance hasn't got much chance of keeping it out. Lovely goal. Let's have another view of that goal. Well, just look at the reactions on the touchline. They just need to keep their composure now. This is far from over. And the match back in business. Real Madrid with the advantage. Pere Pons. Effective challenge. Slip short passing. And now Tomas Pina. Moving the ball effectively. Regained possession. Must score! Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Well, Derek, the stats tell you everything. Slim pickings out there, not created enough. I can't see them getting back in this game unless their forwards up their game a little bit. Course. Asensio. And back with Cross. And with your opponents bearing down on you, no wonder you want to just get rid of the ball. An important interception. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. He's now got to be extra careful. A verbal warning rather than a caution here. Yeah, the next one, he knows where he's going. In the book. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Canny defending by Gross. Real Madrid moving the ball with purpose. What can they do from this position? Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Corner given to Real Madrid. Hey, hey, hey. 
Elects to go short. And that is that half time here in the Spanish capital. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. Modric. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. And that was a very fine read. This might have potential. And he was in the right place to intercept. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. That could well be his final warning. He's got to tread carefully from here on in. Well, he has, yeah, but it's quite easy for the referees to throw yellow cards around willy-nilly, but not on this occasion. And the keeper grabbing hold of that free kick. Now Jose Lu. Alex Vidal. Well, they have the ball once more. Breaking at pace. Modric. Asensio. Dealing with the threat that was real. Casemiro. Will it be? Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum. And he did. Corner for Real Madrid. And they've gone for the short corner. Mendy setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Now Casemiro. Force. Here's Modric. Dangerous looking attack. And offside is the decision. It must have been very closely. Well, yeah, the linesman's got the best view of them all. I think he got that right. Now possession lost, intercepted. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Vidal. As an attacking player, you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here. Yeah, the defence got that spot on, and so did the linesman. Eder Militao. Kors. Benzema. Vinicius Junior. Benzema. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Pina. Pere Pons. It's with Adrian Marine. Fruitful looking attack. Crossing possibilities. It wasn't far away from the target, Lee. No, it was decent. Really, really decent chance for the lad. They'll keep pushing away to try and get that equaliser. Luka Modric Karim Benzema Kroos and attempting the through ball it's there for him I must say he's let himself down with really flabby finishing there yeah he wasted opportunity from the short distance you see the manager's frustration on the touchline take some progress with the ball at his feet Tony Kroos and it's in Real Madrid firmly in charge here. Well, it is good play. You might question the defending, but I prefer to be positive. Really good build-up and an easy finish. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we?
substitution for Real Madrid. Well, a second goal for them here. Pere Pons. Lucas Perez with it. Lucas Perez. An important interception. Real Madrid certainly enjoying the bulk of possession here. Really starting to dictate the tempo of this game now. And they're creating chances as well. I'm not sure their opponents seem to have the answer, to be honest. They can't seem to get a foothold in this game. Good visualisation and execution. Well, it's goal after goal after goal. Just no end to this. A brilliant display. Well, the coaches will tell you, pass the ball how you would like to receive it. Perfectly weighted, and he finished it off brilliantly. Well, let's have another view of that goal. has been one-sided but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going only 10 minutes remaining here and you've got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that Benzema takes it forward now it could be up for grabs thunders clear I think everyone knew that was foul play and the referee left with little choice but to award the free kick he's now got to be extra careful a verbal warning rather than a caution here yeah the next one he knows where he's going in the book Casemiro acquitting himself magnificently to win it back Vinicius Junior, Benzema. Marcelo. Benzema. On to Bale. He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Bale. Well, it's a procession of goals, and surely there's no way they can let this slip now. Absolutely dominant. Well, as we see from the replay, the keeper's got no chance. It's all about the strike, all about the power. He does everything right, head down, back in the net. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, his players have followed his every command and some. The coach must be delighted. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And now Tomas Pina. Manu Garcia. And there it is, the final whistle. Gareth Bale knows how to make things happen. How would you critique his display? Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.